So we've been looking at the whole of viewing, and one of the questions that comes up a lot is, why is it best, Ken? I know you said anytime, anywhere. Why is it best to do holo viewing at night before you go to sleep? So I want to share with you a concept. This is an advanced concept. It comes from Jose Silva himself. And it's really something we're speculating. And although it's a concept, it's based on what we know to be accurate in science, in brain science. So for example, we know that if we look at just these four principal brainwave patterns of a human being, from the blue, the green, the red, and the black, that when a child is growing in the mother's womb, in the final stages of, of a, before birth, if you can find where the head is, they can actually, as you know, monitor the brain waves. And once that child is born into the world, up to at least one year, sometimes I've heard some suggest up to four years, that although all the activity is present, there is a predominance of slow wave sleep delta, lower brainwave activity. So it's as if the child comes into this world physically through this portal, this doorway, so to speak, this dimension of mind, which in terms of brain science is called delta. We also know that the child, through all of its development, spends most of its time sleeping. Agreed? Infants, so they do most of the time. Slowly, though, around one up to four years of age, we start noticing delta and more and more theta activity. As they develop further and the brain is developing, evolving, there's more and more alpha activity present. So delta, theta, and alpha. And that continues typically up until around maybe 12-ish or puberty, time of puberty. And then we notice more and more the blue or beta activity. So a lot of what we've learned here is that as we become adults, we've kind of left behind our heritage. We know we learn faster here, we hear faster here. It's a dimension where we're more open to learning. And a lot of that is kind of dismissed, it seems, in our culture, in the Western science. What's interesting, though, is every single night, we all go what? So to speak, back to where we came from. We move from here through the light stages of sleep, to a little bit deeper, through delta, and then we fluctuate all during the night through what we call sleep and dream cycles. What's interesting is, regardless of the age, when somebody's making their transition and they're about to move on, the most dominant brainwave activity is what? And most people know it would be delta, or this low brainwave activity. So we still need a lot more research about Delta. We still need a lot more understanding about the so-called unconscious state, this dimension. So Jose's concept is this. It seems that although we are, as we said earlier, spiritual beings having a physical experience, that part of our physical experience, we enter it through this portal, through this dimension that's very subjective, non-physical, called Delta. And then when we move on, we go back to where we came from, through the same dimension. And every single night when we go to sleep, we know there's a process of creativity, incubation. We go back to where we came from. Delta. And invariably we wake up, we feel better, we're corrected. So the concept with the whole of viewing is, it's as if we're reporting to higher intelligence, source energy, the universe, God whatever is comfortable for you, and asking for feedback as to how we proceed. And we're releasing it through the Delta door at night before we go to sleep, giving it a chance to broadcast. Delta door concept. 